Hi, I'm Christian Schoen. I'm the host of Hometown Heroes. Come and join me to get to know our local heroes and find out why they do what they do and what we can learn from them. Hi, I'm Amanda Lynn savage Kristoff, and you're watching my story on Hometown Heroes. Thank you so much, Amanda, Christoph, for being a part of Hometown Heroes. Oh, thank you. Wow. We want to hear more about your unique background because you have done such an amazing contribution here to all the students in Clark County. Mm -hmm. And you became Teacher of the Year. And I know there are thousands of teachers to choose from. Yes. And uh, you also have an extraordinary story in terms of how you're teaching. Because, I mean, one thing is that you raise the scores of your students but also the fact that you basically took responsibility for them. And what we want to find out more about today is where is this coming from? Why are you doing this? I mean, have you always been like this? And so, first of all, are you born and raised here? No, I'm actually from Norman, Oklahoma. So I grew up in Norman, Oklahoma. I went there elementary, middle school, junior high, high school. Actually went to college in Norman, Oklahoma at the University of Oklahoma as well. And lived there my whole life, and then I was a phone hire, which means I took a job with Clark County School District without actually moving here first. I got a phone call and they said, we'd like to offer you this job, and I said, that sounds great. And I took the job over the phone and moved out here just over 15 years ago, and I've been at the same school the whole time. Tell me about your upbringing. I come from, I would say, an average size family. My mom and my dad, two brothers. I was the only girl, the youngest which I think makes a big difference when you're the baby and, you know. Are there certain core traits that your parents passed on to you? Definitely, definitely. Like, you know, just importance of family, being with your family, and um, education. Both my parents were public, public educators. My mom was a high school teacher. My daddy was a junior high principal. So, like, education was always the big thing in our house and making sure that, you know, you're reading and you do your homework and you keep up with your work and um, education was never an option for me in my house. So that's where you got some of those traits from in, in regards to helping others like your students because your parents did the same and I also understand uh, your brother, he's in the police force. Yes, my brother is a police officer, was also in the military. Mm -hmm. He took the alternate route to get his college diploma. He joined the military straight out of high school, uh, United States Marine Corps, and then he did uh, two tours in Iraq, and now he's back in Norman, Oklahoma, back in our hometown, and he's a police officer there, and he loves it. It's just fantastic. When you grew up, who were your role model? 100% my mama. You know, when you're very young, you think your parents know everything, and then as you get a little older, you start to think you know everything, and now I'm back to thinking my mom knows everything again, and you know, I talk to her every day on the phone um, because she is still in Norman, Oklahoma. So she comes out here a few times a year and I go out there a few times a year as well just to visit, but definitely talk on the phone every day. My mom is just a wonderful, loving, hardworking woman. My name is Michael Kristoff and I've been fortunate enough to be married to my wife, Amanda Savage, for five years now. When we heard last year that Amanda had won the Nevada Teacher of the Year Award sponsored by Myra Greenspun, I can't say that I was surprised by that. Anyone who's seen Amanda in the classroom knows what an exceptional teacher she is and what makes her so exceptional, and I think that anyone who you would ask would say the same thing, is that she truly cares for her students. She doesn't just care about their educational lives and their educational achievements, but she cares about them as people. And that's a unique quality to find in someone these days. You can tell the impact that Amanda has had on her students by the fact that so many of them come back to Farron Elementary to speak with her and talk to her as they go on through junior high and high school and beyond. Long before I met her, she would buy snacks for her class so that they would have something to eat. And she would make sure that they weren't just getting you know, fed uh, educationally, but they were, uh, you know, being, their tummies were being fed as well. 
and that's just the, the type of person she is. Well, one of the, the things that I know Amanda is very proud of is recently the uh, standardized test scores for her school took a dramatic increase, and particularly in, in the reading portion which Amanda teaches. And I know she was very, very proud of that. She was uh, proud of that because her students put in a lot of work, and that makes sense because I think kids try to emulate what they see. And with Amanda, they see someone who cares about them, who is invested in them and is going to do everything she can to make sure that they're successful, not just in fifth grade, but throughout life. Myself and our kids are just so fortunate that, that she's in our life that we just can't imagine uh, what it would be like without her. She's truly an exceptional human being who leaves a positive footprint everywhere she goes. You had a choice. You could have done just what you were supposed to do, but you chose to go beyond what was expected. Why do you think that is? You know Where is what? that coming from? I really feel like every teacher goes beyond what's actually expected of them because, you know, you uh, some people think teachers work their contracted day, they get off work at this time and they all get to go home and do whatever and it's it's not like that. Like you take your your heart goes home with you with all your kids and you know, and you have extra, not just the paperwork, but the worries and the wonderings, like, well, what's going to happen to them? And they are like your own family. You know, you want to keep them with you and, and, and take care of them. And I think most teachers feel that way about their children. Definitely. That's, that's a driving force in education, I think, is the number one thing is that people go into education because they care about the future and they care about children. So you're students in Mrs. Kristoff's class? Yes. yes. How long have you been her students? Since August. August. Okay. And what do you like the most in her class? Miss Kristoff is a very generous teacher and she has fun while we're, uh, teaching us and learning. Okay. Um, Miss Kristoff sometimes um, makes us laugh when we're like reading your story and teaches us new things every day. I noticed that you were laughing a lot in the previous class here. You laughed a lot so it must be humor almost, it sounds like, in every class you have with her. Do you think that makes it more enjoyable so you look forward to come to class? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She explains things that make it easier to learn. She yeah. wants to make us um, ready for junior high. She always says that sometimes school can be challenging. And also I heard that sometimes she bring little snacks in. Do you like the snacks? Yeah. Yes. yes, they're very good. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much get used to a lot of snacks at home. <laughs> what is the thinking behind the snack? If we haven't eaten anything, then our brains don't work and we can't focus on our learning. Is she more than a teacher? Meaning, do you, how do you look at uh, Mrs. Christophe? She's like our second mom. She's like the best teacher I've ever had. Yeah, me too. She's always been there, helped me learn, and I think I can get a good education with Miss Kristoff. Sometimes she makes jokes and she makes us feel, you know, happy when we're not. What would be one reason why we would indent as a writer? Silena. We do indent as a writer for dialogue. Every, every time there's a new speaker. speaker. The people that I work with are, are my family. They, they take care of me. I try my best to take care of them. We all take care of our children together. You know, this is definitely my family. What do you think about Las Vegas? Because you came by her, yourself. Yeah, and, uh, from Oklahoma, it. it's definitely a little bit different. It's a lot more sparkly and, um, you know, the jobs are different. Teachers in Las Vegas at that time were making more money. And I was a newly graduated child, really, you know, and I wanted to, to try something different. I've lived in Norman, Oklahoma my whole life, and I wanted to try something different, and I thought, hmm, I'll try Las Vegas and at age 22, you know, things like Las Vegas are really fun. And here I am 15 years later still living the, the Las Vegas dream just a little bit differently. So as I was walking, I saw some letters on the wall. One was from a youth senator and your name, well, it was addressed to you. Yes, I did. I, I received a letter from uh, Senator Harry Reid congratulating me for my Myra Greenspun Award. So that was certainly a surprise when I got that in the mail one day, you know, getting a, an actual letter hand, you know, from the senator would not be something that I've ever gotten before. So you must have made a very strong impression. Thank you very much. You know, I think that uh, teachers all over the valley are, are working as hard as they can with, you know, with what we have. And sometimes it seems like we're working more even though we're given less because we know that we expect more from our students. Can you tell me of a particular incident or event that uh, touched you? Every day. Every day, 
every day is something different. I, I, gosh, I could think of, I mean, I've had students, you know, come back in junior high and say, um, I, I don't know how to do this science project. Can you help me diagram a cell? I'm like, I haven't done anything with cells since I was in middle school, but sure, if you bring me your book and, you know, we'd make like a little foam cell and talk about all the parts and label the parts of the cell, just because maybe that child didn't have somebody at home that would sit down with them, or maybe they were working. Um, you know, I've worked with kids in the summertime to help them prepare for middle school to make sure that they were better readers. Um, I, I couldn't say that there is one instance of, I think it's just, with teaching, I think it's every day. Every day, just trying to, you know, have your purpose and impact as many people in a positive way and with kindness in your heart. But in regards to you coming here to Las Vegas, to Clark County, I mean, you had a passion from early on to become a teacher. So it was basically, like you talked about, it was your path is coming to Las Vegas meant to be. After I graduated, I was thinking, oh, where do I want to live? You know, and I was like, oh, I could live in Florida, I could live in California. You know what? I think I'll move to Las Vegas. And my mom was, why do you want to move so far away? Why can't you get a job teaching here? You know, with both my parents in the school district there, Moore is just the next town over for Norman. You know, they they wish that I would have stayed home. And even when I talk to my brother, you know, every time I talk to him, well, are you going to move home? I could get you, you know, do you want, want to move home? We can get you a job. Do, do you want to move home? This is my home, you know, this is where I, this is where I've started my family. This is where, this is where my family is. Not just my husband and my children, but my friends. This is my family away from home. What kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? I think that the most important thing would be that my students know that I care about them. All of them. And I want them to remember you know, that, that safe feeling that they had in my classroom and the love that they felt being part of the, the community of learners in our, in our school. Thank you so much for being a part of Hometown Heroes and also for the amazing work you have done and you're doing here in Clark County. Thank you so much, it was truly an honor. Um, I really like Ms. Kristoff because she is unique and she's sweet and she's funny and she's like, our second mom. She makes us feel happy and I like Farron because they have different customs than other schools. It's fun and it's energetic and instead of just plain work we can learn education in a fun way. Miss Kristoff is the best teacher. She has fun activities instead of just doing writing. She adds more fun and she is the best teacher. Ms. Kristoff is pretty awesome because she always um, encourages us to write. We get to learn new things every day. We learn a lot. Hi, I'm Dr. Christy Baird. I'm the principal here at Aaron Elementary School and I've been here for eight years. Over the last eight years, we've seen some nice gains in our academic scores and specifically last year in the area of reading and writing. And we attribute a lot of our gains in writing to Ms. Kristoff, our fifth grade writing teacher. She is an outstanding teacher who was also the recipient of the Myra Greenspan Teacher Excellence Award. And we're proud of her accomplishments, but that also speaks on behalf of the school as a whole. Ms. Kristoff often says, it's not just me, it's a team effort. And I'm proud to be here at Farron because the teachers do work so well together and contribute to an overall positive school environment. Um, we're so proud of Ms. Kristoff and her accomplishments because she's one teacher who truly cares about kids. She gives her time before and after school and on weekends, and she's just the exemplar of what a teacher can and should be when they're working with children. We Have your purpose and impact as many people in a positive way with kindness in your heart. Thank you for joining us. If you are a local hero or you know someone who is, please contact us. See you next week.